Welcome to a wonderful world of excitement, laughter, tears, dramas, stories, sporting triumphs, divine food, hot action, happiness and fascination. Welcome to the world of Go TV. Hey guys, look what I've got. Oh wow. Go TV, Go TV. <laughs> so exciting. It's a great feeling bringing home a Go TV decoder. So, let's open the box. Inside, you will find the instructions, the decoder, the outdoor go tenor, the AV cables, the go tenor cable, the power cable, and the remote control. The instructions are printed on the bottom of the decoder box. Be sure to read through these first. You don't need a new TV because this is the new DVB T2 technology. This means you get digital quality without the cost. And most countries are switching from analog to digital. Let's install it together. Hey, looks easy. Yeah. Let's go. Come on. Step one, connect your decoder to the TV using the audio and video cables provided. Now, you need to install a pole on the roof so you can mount the go tenna. Unpack the go tenna, lift the rear sections carefully and secure. Now, step two. Install the go tenna as high up as possible. Secure the go tenna to the pole horizontally to the go tenna bracket at the center of the go tenna. Point the go tenna towards the go TV transmitter. Clear of any trees or obstructions and in line of sight of your Go TV transmitter. It mustn't point to any other kind of tower. Now, temporarily fix it there until you've checked the signal inside. The F connector should always point downwards to prevent moisture and rain getting in. Now, slide the waterproof sleeve over the joint and feed the cable into the house. Next, step 3. Connect the outdoor go tenna cable to the RF in plug on the decoder. Step 4. Connect the power supply unit to the decoder before inserting the other end into the plug point. Then, switch on at the wall. Now, step 5. Switch on the TV and press the AV button on the TV remote to go to the AV channel. After a few seconds, the Go TV logo will appear. The screen will automatically change to show the setup screen after a few seconds. On to step 6. Select your language option. Press OK. Select your country. Press OK. Next is power on off. Select off, then OK. Now your decoder will start to scan. Relax, Dad. The decoder takes approximately six minutes to scan through all the channels. Let's move on to step seven. Once the decoder has finished scanning, it will indicate the number of channels acquired. Press OK to continue. The decoder will take you to the Go channel, channel 99. Stay on this channel. If your decoder does not complete scanning due to poor signal levels, it will automatically take you to the signal detection screen. If this happens, you need to go outside and adjust your go tenor until the signal is strong. These are some of the great entertainment highlights on Go TV this month. That's amazing. Clearly means a lot to Ramos. Yes! And kids' problems for me. I'm going to learn a lot on Go TV. Oh, <laughs> oh,
Cheers. And for the really intelligent member of the household, the latest local and international news, business and current affairs. That's me, by the way. Now, let's make sure that your signal is the best you can get. Select Menu, Information Central, and then OK. Go back to your Go tenor and slowly move it left and right until the signal bars, the two white bars, are at their maximum level. Right, right, right. Right. Is, is it fine now? Perfect. Perfect. Now, press Exit, Exit. You should have a crystal clear picture and sharp sound. Yes! Oh! <laughs> it was so easy to install. I could have done it myself. It's not your usual nine to five. Now, while you can enjoy all the highlights on Channel 99, you still need to activate your decoder. Right, let's do a quick checklist. The AV cables are connected. The decoder is powered up. The Go tenor is installed and the picture is perfect. You've programmed the correct language and country and the decoder has scanned. You've acquired all the channels available and you're on the Go channel. Right, let's get activated. Under your decoder, you'll find a red sticker with a number on it. This is the IUC number and you must always use this number when contacting GoTV. The white number is just the barcode. Write down the IUC number and keep it safe. There's no point in turning over the decoder every uh, time you need the number. Hey Dad, please really write this number down. Got it. Now, SMS the word ACCEPT plus your IUC number plus your surname, your mobile number, the city you live in and the product you have purchased to your country's short code. The decoder must be switched on when you do it. You will find the short code for your country on your decoder box. If you stay on the Go channel, you won't know if you are activated. So it is important to check if the other channels have loaded. It might be quick or it could take a few minutes. Once you're connected, you will have loads to enjoy. Yes! <laughs> stuff good we can learn more about the world around us culture region hallelujah even I can see how good this picture is and the sound is so beautiful I'm a cockhead yay all the latest local and international news and current affairs. Wow, what a lot we've got in this little box of tricks, eh? And 
It's incredible value for money. Ah, glad you all love it. But right now, June and I, we're gonna hijack the TV and watch soccer. So, while they're all enjoying their new Go TV, let me show you a few tips on making sure your Go TV is always on the go. Sometimes you will encounter an error code. It's nothing to worry about, and you can fix it yourself. If your TV screen displays an E16 or E30 error message, you can clear it by using SMS. To clear the error, simply SMS the word reset and your IUC number to the short code of your country. You'll find the short codes for your country printed on your decoder box. For example, SMS reset 200-440-70009 to your country's short code. Ensure your decoder is switched on when you send the SMS. Standard rates for SMS apply. Couldn't be easier or quicker. We have introduced WeChat to access GoTV self-service. If you have a smartphone or Android device, download the WeChat application from Google Play, Apple iStore, or BlackBerry App World. Click on the app, then go to Discover, and then click under Scan QR Code and align the QR code within the frame to start scanning. If successful, it will automatically go to the GoTV Africa page. Then all you need to do is follow the prompts to access the GoTV self-help service and go through the menu. Simple. Payment is so easy too. After your inclusive subscription lapses, you will then need to pay your monthly subscription to continue receiving GoTV. Depending on your country, Payments can be made through banks or mobile platforms or wallets such as M-Pesa, Airtel Money, MTN Mobile, MPOS, EcoCash, Afri Express, MobiPay, Paga Mobile, and eTransact. You must refer to your IUC number as your reference number when making payment wherever or however you pay. And one more thing, remember to leave your Go Decoder switched on so that it will receive the signal to open your channels for viewing. It's an amazing experience for us. GoTV will expose your family to so many new things. Different cultures, education, entertainment, sport, religion, music, international and local events. GoTV is great value. The digital quality picture is so clear and the sound really is richer. And of course, you'll be ready for the big digital switchover. It's a great package. Good price, good quality, great entertainment. What more could anyone ask for? There's a channel for everybody, no matter what your interests. Keeping the peace, that's how I end up with the remote. <laughs> <laughs> that's not bad, yeah.